This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNSC... Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now, I went to sleep last night, nice and relaxed, and then BANG! I got a billion notifications on my phone, and apparently Megablox released the detailed set images of every Halo Mega Construct set this year. I'm gonna break it down for you today, and we'll cover the elephant in the room. Yes, it is July, and we still don't have any Halo Infinite gameplay, and the world is freaking out. Never mind, we've got a load of toys to look at, and they'll help us speculate wildly on the future of Halo, and also I have a pink hand because the printer broke on me while I was printing these images, so I got toner all over me. We're gonna go over all these pictures, there are so many sets, all different price ranges. First of all, we're gonna go over the set that I'm so excited about. I have been going on about this set for years. We have finally got a Halo Ring installation set. We've got a Halo Ring! Mega Constructs have been making sets for over 10 years, and we've never had a Halo, and now, look at this thing, it's gorgeous. First of all, the packaging for all these sets is just, mwah, it's just beautiful. It's just so good. It's got that pro builder feel, that really like collector's item look to it. Display stand on this beautiful glossy finish table. The ring itself looks insane. Forerunner structures, it's got connecting rods. Mega blocks have strongly hinted that if you get enough of these bad boys, you can combine them together. I have been wanting a Halo ring Mega Construct set. I mean, can you imagine a game called Halo and they've not made a Halo ring yet? I could not ask for something cooler. It looks bespoke, it looks custom made, it looks just flawless to me. These little trees, there's mountains, there's different terrain. How can you ask for a better start to this video, a better start to collecting Halo Mega Constructs in 2020 than a four on a ring installation? Now we're gonna go on to some cheaper sets. We've got two armory packs and Usually when Mega Constructs make an armory pack, they go a little light on the accessories, only a couple of weapons, maybe one change of armor. These bad boys have 30 accessories to them. The UNSC Marine Gear Pack and the UNSC Spartan Armor Pack. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. First of all, the UNSC Marine Gear Pack, that Elite is probably the nicest Elite I have ever seen. It's gorgeous. And it comes with loads of weapons. You can have plasma grenades, either purple or translucent, like half-charged blue. The Marines, you get two of them with all these helmets, all of these chest plates, a radio backpack, and then all of- it looks like every Marine possible from the game. I don't know how many you would have to buy to have a complete set. Like, maybe five or six? They're absolutely wonderful. And the fact that it's the head mold and you can insert the helmet on top, mwah, perfect. The Elite Elite doesn't look like it has any interchangeable armor, but I see this as a bonus figure. Usually all armory packs only come with the two characters that you would be customizing. This is just like a bonus elite with weapons. It's nice to see on the internet that everybody is just, there's so much good energy for these sets. Everybody is impressed. Then we've got the UNSC Spartan armor pack. You've got all of these Reach inspired helmets. Commando, Grenadier, EVA, Recon, so many helmets. And then a bonus brute with weapons. We've got this brand new pistol, which we've not seen anywhere else before. And then all of these accessories, all these armors. I cannot believe how good this looks. Like, I, I can't even believe- even the packaging with this desert terrain and this installation, oh my goodness. It just homes in on how 343 confirmed that we'll have Halo Reach inspired customization options. Looks like it to me. All of the- I mean, this is 10 out of 10 for me. Moving on to some bigger sets, we've got three banished sets. The first one we saw some leaks uh, about a week ago. We've got the Banshee Breakout. This is a really nice looking Banshee. To me, immediately, it seems like it's missing wing attachments. It comes with an Elite Ultra and a Recon, which are very similar to the Halo Heroes that we've already seen. Check out my Halo Heroes breakdown video. That's a separate one. They look like pretty standard figures, 
but then we have this Banshee and all of the new sets have a two-in-one feature. So you can transform them into something else. This Banshee can turn into some kind of land speeder, maybe like a hover bike thing. I don't think any of these are canon. I don't think they'll be in the game, but Mega Bloks is just showing that you can build other things with the sets. Also, just seeing the Halo Infinite Master Chief on the packaging. Amazing. This Banshee breakout is pretty standard. You always need a new Banshee in the line, and I think it's pretty cool. Looks very similar to the previous Banished Banshee that we had earlier, maybe a couple of years ago now. But this one is a brand new set, the Skiff Intercept. This one looks really cool and very, very Banished-esque. Nice looking Spartan there with some cool paint applications and really good molding on his chest there. The Brutes look awesome with those new Mauler type weapons. We've got a Grunt which has a Combat Evolved face mask which is really cool. Apparently Megablocks have confirmed on the website that this is not a drivable vehicle in the game. Maybe it'll still be in it. This one can also transform into this really cool like attack walker thing that's very like Halo Wars 2 inspired. This one is also fantastic. I can't wait to get my hands on more Banished. There haven't been that many Banished that Mega Bloks have produced so far, but they're going heavy now. It's clear that the Banished are going to play a huge part in Halo Infinite. And then we've got the set that's probably turning the most heads on the internet right now. It's the Defense Point Showdown. This one comes with the Master Chief, a Marine, and a Mongoose, which might be the same as the Mongoose that comes separately. Insane Mac Cannon. It looks absolutely insane, absolutely well finished, it's a bulky set. This is probably going to be like an $80 set, and it comes with a grunt, but also this Brute, which has been confirmed as being called Hyperius. Now, this Brute is kind of blowing everyone's mind on the internet, because his Helmet looks like it's Spartan Palmer's. He's literally wearing Locke's helmet as like a trophy prize. And maybe someone also saw that he's got some of the Arbiter's armor. I'm sure he will be a character in Halo Infinite. If 343 have allowed Locke's death in canon or Palmer's death, to be confirmed through a toy, that's insanely lazy. Hopefully it's just some just really cool lore that he hunts down different Spartan armors that aren't the main characters. It's also just wonderful to see a Halo ring in the packaging for your Halo sets. Gorgeous. Hyperius might also be the brute that we hear in the Banished Confirmed trailer. You can check out a Mega Bloks version I did on my channel right now. This two-in-one, it transforms into some kind of land speeder thing as well. I won't be keeping them in the two-in-one variation, but it's still really cool to see that Mega Bloks is giving you extra things you can do with the sets and it'll probably sell more of them. And overall, this just looks like an insanely well-polished set. Definitely one that I'll pick up straight away. It comes with four amazing figures. I'll be interested to see if the Master Chief varies between sets, because we get him in a few different sets. This one, as well, people are really, really excited about. This is 450 pieces of badass mega constructs. This is the building box. And this is basically what fans have been asking for for the entire time Mega Bloks has been making sets. A fully customizable, build your own adventure kind of set that's more just like extra blocks to build up your collection with. It's almost half a thousand pieces. People will be buying so many of these to just make customs with. It's showing you that you can build this defense tower, which is a really simple design, and then a mongoose and a tiny pelican. I'm gonna love that tiny pelican. I'm gonna. I'm gonna really treat that one nice. And then it's also got a red versus blue inspired showdown. I absolutely love this. For some reason, it's got the old school energy sword. I don't know why they got both molds, but it's still really nice. 343 called Halo Infinite a spiritual reboot. I think Mega Constructs is saying the same. If you wanna start collecting at this point, you don't need any of the old stuff. You can buy these boxes and build your own vehicles, build your own sets. It's really cool. The display art for this, the pack Packaging is gorgeous, really nice, popping bright colors. Then we're gonna get on to the last three, the three UNSC vehicles. We've seen teasers of these before, but now we've got really high quality pictures. We got the Mongoose and the Warthog, which both go really nicely side by side. The Mongoose is basically the best army builder set I have ever seen. You get two Marines, a Grunt and an Elite for like a $20 set with this Mongoose. How could you not buy a hundred of these? to army build with, they're perfect. Especially that Halo 3 designed Elite and these two Marines. If you buy a few of this set and a few of this set, you can customize Marines for all of Infinity, for Halo Infinite. 
infinite designs, infinite possibilities. And we've also got this Warthog. This might be, I like, I'm so happy with these sets. This might be the best Warthog I've ever seen. These might be the best, this is definitely the best Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks lineup in its history. And this Warthog has the Master Chief, a Marine, which has sleeveless shoulders, which is nice and then two of the new jackals. I'm still on the fence about the necks of these jackals. They look hideous, but I mean, they are ugly boys in general, and new articulation jackals are great to army build. The two-in-one means you can transform this into a boat, which is really cool. I would really hope you can drive a boat in Halo Infinite. That would be awesome. And this Warthog Rally is just... It's just a gorgeous set. I'm gonna be very interested, like I said, to see if the Master Chiefs vary at all, there are three Master Chiefs that we've got here, and the third one comes in the crown and glory of all these sets, the UNSC Pelican Inbound. This one comes with Pelican Pilot, otherwise known on the internet as Brohammer. They all look phenomenal. This Pelican literally splits open so you can see the inside of it. You can also transform this into a Firebase, which is a set that was teased in like 2014 or something and was never released. You can recreate the Halo Infinite E3 trailer with this set and let your inspiration and creativity flow with all of these sets. We have three amazing army builder UNSC sets. We have three banished sets. We have a Halo Infinite ring and we have a building box so you can make your own. Customizer packs so you can build your own teams. And there are even pictures on the internet of a buildable Master Chief helmet and a buildable energy sword. Just processing all this information, I think I was quite calm about it, but now I'm on camera, I'm like, this is actually pretty crazy. Let me know in the comments what you think of all these guys. I really want to hear your feedback. And only if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, maybe a share. Make sure you subscribe to my channel with the bell on and comment down below which your favorite set from all these is. And if you're excited about Halo Infinite, the answers are yes or absolutely yes. This has been another crazy preview video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. There is a bright, bright future ahead for Mega Constructs and Halo. Coming into Halo Infinite, I couldn't be more excited. And you'll see a lot of coverage of the new gameplay we'll be getting at the end of this month for Halo Infinite. And the four in a ring in all of its glory, I'm gonna have to buy like 10 of these to make a full ring. That's a lot of money, is signing off.